So suppose you know what the vertex is and you're given some other point on your absolute value function. Now uh, the standard form for the absolute value function is y equals a absolute value x minus h plus k. And since you know what h and k are, you just have to plug it into your equation now. So you have y equals a absolute value of x minus minus 1 is plus 1 plus k plus 2. And since you have point P now, you can replace P into your uh, x and y so that you have minus 1 equals a absolute value of 2 plus 1 plus 2. So that's just minus 1 equals 3 times a plus 2. And this means that a equals minus 3 over 3 which is 1, so a equals minus 1. <clears throat> that means that your equation is y equals negative x plus 2 or was it plus 2? No, it was plus 1 plus 2. And that's the final equation of your absolute value uh, given the vertex and a point on your function.